sit that they collect. Oh, thanks. Hello, everyone. This is Collector of All Things, and I am here today with... XVX Game Time. All right, XVX, what do we have for the people today? We have another metal die cast with her. And this one is from Jada Toys. Uh, we've already seen, uh, what do, uh, let's remind everyone, what have we already seen, XVX? We've seen Batman, Wonder Woman, and Superman. So we've pretty much seen the beginning of the Justice League uh, from the Batman versus Superman. And now we've got uh, Killer Croc, and he's, well, he wasn't in Batman vs. Superman. So what movie was he in? Suicide Squad. Yeah, and just by looking at the box, we could pretty much see that because they're telling us that. So let's take a look at the box. If we, we lift it up, we can see we've got Killer Croc inside, and we have the little Suicide logo, uh, Suicide Squad logo right here, and Killer Croc's name. Uh, it's from DC Comics. And it, of course, tells you it's caution. It's very heavy. And this is the M22. So if we look on the side, we have another picture of Killer Croc and, of course, Suicide Squad. And in the back, we have uh, some other variants. And uh, you have, of course, you know, the more popular ones. Obviously, you see they have a lot of Jokers, a lot of Harley Quinn. Uh, you got a couple of dead shots. And then two variants of Killer Croc, which is really cool. There's only one thing about the back is this whole row yes. is not the actual suits from Suicide Squad. They're like, just like randomly colored and this is like the real suit. So what we have here, that's a good observation that you had right there, is we have this version here, which are the variants from the movie. And then we have what they kind of had. They did some creative license, as we call it, and they decided to make their own out of it. So that's really cool. So now... Let's maybe uh, open open him up and take a look at him. What do you think? And there we have him out of the box. Wow, he looks pretty mean. I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark sewer. Wait a minute. Why would I be in a dark sewer? Wait a minute. For that, why would I be in a sewer? What do you know. think? You think we should hang out in the sewer, XVX? No. Nah, I wouldn't do that. It's Anyways, so you smell bad? You think it smells bad in the sewer? Yeah. Probably does, huh? So are you saying that Killer Croc smells bad? Would you say it to his face? You're talking to me? So here we have Killer Croc, and he is wearing some stylish outfit here. The kind of black, gold, and, and brown. It, it, it mixes well with his kind of olive-looking uh, skin. And like gray, kind of. Like yeah, and if you look at his eyes... You notice the whites of his eyes get the little like tiny pupils there. Yeah. Uh, it's weird because he looks like he's got a lazy eye. See, he's got one eye that goes off like that. And uh, he's got his shark, uh, sharp, sharp teeth there. And then uh, he's got these little ears. Look at that. And look, yeah, the bottom does move. He's kind of, he can, he can, he can move in multiple directions there. But that's about it. It would have been cool if they could have moved his arms because, yeah, he looks tough like the way he's standing, you know. But... I think it would have been cool if he could have moved his arms. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, he's, he's fairly heavy. Is he as heavy as... Uh, I think he's, he's pretty much as heavy as Batman and Superman were. Yeah. Oh, we're having problems focusing. Ah, there you go. Look at that. Wow, look at that on the back. What is that on the back? Is that That's a dragon. Wow. Ooh, yeah. Can I see how it feels? You want to feel it? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, it's pretty much the same as Superman's feel. Yeah. Pretty but, much like Batman, too. I think it's all in the head. Pretty big head. But look, he's muscular body, small feet. Uh, everything on him feels like it is metal. I don't know if it's... Like yeah, it's all... Yeah, it feels plasticky, his feet. His his legs feel a little bit plastic. But they, they've got to be have some some metal inside it. Because otherwise, yeah. I don't think you would have stood. They have like metal on the maybe chest. I think this part here is is uh, is plastic. So yeah, that this feels metal. very. Th this feels this feels like plastic up here. They must have uh, metal on the body then. Yeah, no, he's he's all metal here. That's for sure. And he's got his hands taped up like a like a fighter. He looks like a boxer. You know the way he's standing like that. Yeah. Um, looks like he's stressed. But uh, he's got you know the neck. He's, he's he looks like a typical like 
uh, you know, how they would draw a cartoonish bodybuilder. I think they did a great job. I really like him. What do you think? Yeah. I think he's going to be a great addition to what you already have in your collection. Um, yeah, I, I, I think, uh, and, and he's, you know what's cool about, uh, I, I like about Killer Croc? He's both bad and good. Because he's a bad guy, but because he's on the Suicide Squad, he's kind of like a good guy too, right? Yeah. <coughs> I think so too. So uh, what do you think? Do we give this guy two thumbs up? Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, the paint is really good. There's no errors or anything like that on it. I really like the black and the gold. I like the brown. What's your favorite part of the figure? The face. You like the face? And I like that on the back too. I, I find he really looks neat. I, I think uh, I think they did a good job with this killer croc. It looks uh, he looks pretty pretty mean and imposing. I think uh, like I said, he's gonna look good on your shelf. Mm. Well, um, again, we were talking about back in the past. These are fairly heavy. They're not really toys. They're more collectibles. Um, but uh, you know, they're they're fun to have. I think you're enjoying them, right? Mm -hmm. And would you recommend somebody if they like, uh, let's say they like DC, they like Superman or Batman, or maybe they like some of the Suicide Squad figures, uh, would you recommend it? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'd recommend them too. Uh, we find them at some really good prices. I, I think I would look online or maybe if there was any specials in the store because these things, uh, we actually picked this one up at almost half price. So... Uh, I think at that price, they're well worth it. They, they're really nice. And maybe you can get like maybe Deadshot one day. Or... Wow, you're really pushing this collection. I'm really trying to get something else. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes along. But I, I think that this was, uh, th this is really nice. So I hope everyone enjoyed this little quick review of Killer Croc from the Suicide Squad. And uh, if they did, they should put a like in the video, right? Yep. And we had a lot of fun. I think we've had a lot of fun reviewing these because not only are they cool to look at, uh, but I think you're having fun after being able to display them. So uh, you, you, it's starting to show the makings of a really fine collection. And uh, we want to thank all of XVX's uh, subscribers. And uh, we wish you a great day. Take care.